Well, for more than a decade, the murder of a young East Texas woman has remained a mystery. And now a new sheriff is taking a second look at this cold case. 14 years ago, starting tomorrow on May the 4th, 2007, Brittany McGlone was asleep in her boyfriend's bed when she was sexually assaulted and killed. In this Fox 51 exclusive, Sarah Allegra tells us how loved ones are also determined to find out whoever did it. Sarah. Trent, this case rocked Wood County and still haunts many people today. From traditional techniques to untraditional methods, a small but ambitious group is committed to finding McLone's killer. A brutal small town murder still looms over Wood County, along with the question, who killed Brittany McLone and why? A lot of things have been said about this case. The only thing that matters to us is that it gets solved. This mother daughter duo, Don and Rachel Trammell, have dedicated years to finding an answer. We have cried <laughs> and we've cried with family members. The two even started a YouTube documentary showing how they are searching for clues. I think it deserves to be solved. You know, her family has been going through this for this may all be 14 years. McGlone's gruesome death leaving behind an eerie reminder for many of a cold hearted killer at large. Because if they could do this horrendous thing to her, they're going to do it to somebody else. Winsboro, Texas, 2007. What would seem like an ordinary day for 19 year old Brittany McClone suddenly wasn't. She was just beginning her life, looking forward to going to college. After working her night shift at this Lowe's distribution center, she headed to her boyfriend, Jeff Stogner's house, just on the other side of this fence in a small home by Lake Winsboro, a place Don and Rachel visit often. I just get a little bit melancholy every time I come out here. It's just a sadness. Hours later, somewhere between 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., McLone was savagely murdered in Stogner's bed. She had been bludgeoned with a heavy, sharp object. Um, she had been sexually assaulted. And uh, they called, uh, her boyfriend called 911. Stogner returning home to an unrecognizable body and a horrifying crime scene. That could have been your daughter your sister, your cousin, you know, your friend. Uh, what happened to her could happen to anyone. And with somebody still running around out there free, it probably will. That thought igniting urgency in the community, including recently elected Wood County Sheriff Kelly Cole. I actually worked here. Uh, I was a criminal investigator here at that time. So I had a little involvement with the case at the initial onset. Now, after 14 years of a spine chilling unsolved mystery, the county's newly elected official is giving this cold case a second look. Our thoughts are, well, let's let's go in here and try to figure something out. And with everything that's there, you know, we believe that at some point we can bring it to some type of close, you know, for the families. As of today, law enforcement has not publicly named any suspects, but when the person responsible is arrested, he or she faces capital murder charges. At this point in time, you know, we'd look at anyone or anything. The crime scene leaving behind DNA evidence like blood stains, something they plan to retest. Forward, let's use what technology we have now to try to see if we can't solve this. But why, over a decade later with no answer? Cold case groups that have kind of looked at some of this did not look at evidence. They just looked at the reports from things. For Don and Rachel, they believe the situation was mishandled by law enforcement in the past. I believe that they didn't take the proper steps to seal off the crime scene like they should have. Contaminated or not, today Sheriff Cole is diving deeper, looking to the community for clues. And people seem to think this a lot of times, that, well, I thought I saw something, but maybe I really didn't, or, or I heard this, but I don't think it has anything to do with it. Come tell us anyway. Something Don and Rachel have actively tried to help expose through traditional and even paranormal investigation. Do you feel safe in the realm that you're in now? Yes. She deserves justice. She deserves for her story to be told. She deserves for it to be solved. Doing whatever it takes to put a killer behind bars with hopes of ending years of silence, confusion, and delayed justice. As an effort to solve this case, Wood County Crime Stoppers has set up a fund for Brittany, raising the reward for any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person responsible. Reporting in studio, Sarah Legre, Fox 51 News.